Dr. Omar Johnson in Liberia. The Liberty Shine Experience. 420 International Coalition. The Ward Foundation. Liberia Hills. I think the Liberia Hills program is not only going to be one of the best programs here, but I think it's one of the most necessary. As a psychologist, I deal with healing all the time. And one thing I know that it's going to be difficult, it's going to be difficult for us as African people to rebuild and repair ourselves if we don't heal. So many of us have been through so many traumas, traumas in the family. In Liberia, you've had the war. In America, we have the black on black homicide. All across the global African world, there's issues that are that's eroding the happiness and peace of mind of African people. So we need to heal before we can build. Because if you build before you heal, people who are angry, frustrated, depressed, addicted to medications will simply tear down the structures that you do build. So I think that the Liberia Hills program is significant. Uh, a lot of people, I think, are too quick to look to build without healing first. As a psychologist, I gotta heal first, and then we build. Because if the mind is sick, the institutions will be sick. So we have to first repair the mind so that the institutions can be healthy as well. Although y'all don't hear from us enough, we want y'all to know that we know that we Africans too. So African Liberian, African American is all one African people and we coming back to Africa to build with our brothers and our sisters, businesses and schools, commerce and institutions and community. So I'm happy to be here in Liberia. This is my first time in Liberia. And it's good to be over here, to come back to the land of my origin. And so I just want to say to you all, to let you know that Team Pan-African and the International Movement for the Independence of African People is coming back to Africa to help uplift our brothers and our sisters. One love talk about him. The Liberia Hills talk about him. One idea that I had, what if? I got with the Association of Black Psychologists, and we created some sort of a program in a method out of Liberia that allows us to come and train mental health professionals on how to do therapy with brothers and sisters who were traumatized by the war. So you got a sister who suffered from sexual violence, or you got a brother who saw his father killed in front of him, that's post-traumatic stress. They need therapy. So maybe we can come over here and train some of you guys on how to be crisis response therapists. So there's so much that we can do, but it gotta be hands across the Atlantic Ocean. We cannot be isolationists no more. Mama Africa, I dance for you. Yeah, when you stop. This is like a spiritual detox. It's like a cultural detoxification where over the next 10 days I get the opportunity to reconnect to my African spirit and my African roots. And I always say that at least for me, and I think it's true for most of us who visit here from the West, Africa is like our charge and we have to bring our batteries home to charge every so often. Our spiritual batteries being our soul and Africa being the actual charger or the mother continent or our homeland, we often have to come here to get our sanity back because we tend to lose it over in the we West. Here, you know, true African, true Liberians who will be supportive and, and, and we pledge every effort in every way that we can support this movement to empower our people to understand that it's about Africans. Africans, Africa. Africa.
must work to do this. We're going to get it done. Get it done. Get it done. Get it done. Bless up. Get it done. Bless up. Bless up. Bless up. Big up, Omar. Big up, Omar. Bless. Big up, Bless. Shout, shout, shout. Bless. One love, one love, one love. Bless. Africa, you Pan-African. Make sure I definitely do a clip with that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They need to 